Bruno is showing you how to get to Soccer City on the bus rapid transport system. Yawn. Bus driver, stop the bus. He's even shown you the new grass at Soccer City. Grass? Well, I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna give you a guided tour through Soccer City. Beat that, Mfundo. Soccer City is soon to be the most visited attraction in Johannesburg. Let's do it! So Clifford, why is this place called Soccer City? The original stadium was called First National Bank's uh, Stadium and uh, it was referred to as Soccer City and because of that historical value we're paying a homage to that for the stadium currently and that's why it's called Soccer City. I'm not outside the stadium, I'm inside. so much bigger from the inside. Why are the holes in the stadium? Okay, uh, if you look at the stadium uh, the, on the facade, you'll have windows at the top that are covered with glass and then windows at the bottom that are not covered. Now, the main purpose obviously with the glass is to uh, protect it from rain and also to provide natural light to the stadium. But the windows on the side that's not covered is to provide natural air ventilation for the stadium. Otherwise, it would actually be a cooking pot. As you can feel, the wind is actually blowing here. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't wear a dress. Okay, so Clifford, how much does this green pitch cost? Well, uh, in South African terms, it's 12 million rand, but if you have to convert it to dollars, you're looking at 1.6 million dollars. I don't see any floodlight. How does the lighting work in the stadium? If you look at the roof area, you will notice that there are 528 floodlights running all around the roof area and that is, uh, would provide sufficient lighting for any event that is held there at night and uh, when you actually look at the stadium at night it just lits up it's an awesome sight to see I've noticed that there are nine lines um, around the stadium what's the significance of this? Okay, uh, firstly I need to rectify you it's actually ten lines um, originally with the first design it was actually nine lines and what happened is because of that nine is an unlucky number in the African culture so they brought in an additional line. The, those nine lines are representing each one of the host stadiums that will be hosting the World Cup. Then there's a line coming in from Berlin, Germany, that is actually bringing in the World Cup to South Africa, to our stadium, which will be hosting the opening match and also the closing match. So that's the relevance of those lines. The 10th line is for Germany. Thank you, Shane. Exclusive access to the players' tunnel and the change rooms. I'm about to go into the players' warm-up room. Let's go. Clifford, what's the padding for? Uh, that is for protection for when the players actually warm up in this area. But if they, for some reason, run and they don't see it and they run into it, they won't get injured. This is where the game was won and lost. The players' change room. This is where I hope to meet Fabio Canovaro. Where the shower's at. <laughs> and this is where the glory begins, the player's tunnel. The player's tunnel looks like a mine shaft. Can you tell us why? Yeah, if you, if you look at the surrounding area, there are mine uh, dumps and mining has been done here. And when they actually started digging this tunnel out under the old stadium, uh, they actually saw the opportunity to actually uh, make this into the design of a mine shaft. And so all the players will be running down and walking up here. But it's also to give that heritage back to mining within uh, the design of the stadium. Latuma! I'm not saying that my soccer city tour is more amazing than Fundo's soccer city stories. All I'm saying is that I got all access. 